What's up guys, I'm Rasim from rossmartech.com and this is another tutorial in Unix shell scripting. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the if, then, else, and else if statement. So let's get started. So let's open up our text editor. To do that we're going to use vim, hit space, give our text file a name. I'm going to call mine test7 and we can make sure we have to use the .sh extension and we can hit enter. Now the text editor is launched. Uh, we have to type in I to bring us in insert mode. While in insert mode, we can start typing away. Now at the beginning of every uh, shell script program, you have to have this group of characters, the hashtag symbol, the exclamation point, forward slash B-I-N, forward slash S-H. Then you have to hit enter and type in clear. Then hit enter a couple of times. Now we can start coding. Now, before we get into the if, else, and then else if statements, let's first uh, go st start writing the beginning of the program. I'm going to prompt the user to enter a color, right? And um, then I'm going to use the read uh, command to read uh, the, the color and save it to a variable. Then we can use the if, then, else, and else if statements to compare. Now, now let's get started. First, let me write something to the user. I'm going to echo, enter the secret color right so the program starts it's going to prompt the user to enter a secret color right so now I'm gonna use a read command here all right something's wrong here let me delete this echo statement because I have I put cap E and I'm supposed to do it so it's E C H O lowercase if you put the caps E, it's a completely different character, and, and that go statement won't work. Whenever you're using commands, you'll make sure you use lowercase letters, or else the commands won't work. So the program starts, and it's going to echo, enter the secret color to the user. Then it's going to read the, the, the input of the user, but because the read command is down here now. Then uh, whatever the user enters, it gets saved into a variable. So now we have to uh, create a variable name. I'm going to call mine color. Right, so whatever the user enters, whatever they type, it's going to get saved into this color variable here. Now we can start the if, then, else, and else if statements, and we can compare and we can do some pretty neat things. So the way an if then statement starts, we have to type in if, right? Hit space. Uh, use the open bracket. I'm sorry, the open bracket here. Hit space. Then we're going to type in our variable name which is color, but before we do that, we have to make sure we use this dollar symbol here because we're invoking the variable. Then we're going to type in color. Then we have to hit uh, space again. We're going to use the this equal operator. Then we're going to hit space again. Then we're going to uh, use a uh, string. So I'm going to use the double quotes here. And uh, we're going to write whatever string we want. So I, I want to type in the color blue. So, then I'm going to use the ending quotes here. Then I'm going to hit space in the closing bracket. So this is the, the way it works. This if statement here is going to read whatever is in this color uh, variable here. And we use the equal operator. The equal operator compares the two. If both of them are equal, if, if, so if the string is blue, then we're going to go to the next step here. So let's hit enter. Then, then we're going to type in then, right? We type in then there, then we hit enter again, then we hit tab. So basically, if this is true, if color it does equal blue, then it's going to do whatever we put here. So I'm just going to echo something back to the user. I'm going to echo, uh, you are correct. Right? So if the color is, if they do type in blue and the color is blue, it'll echo to the user, you are correct, right? So now let's use an else. So we type in the else there, then we hit enter again, then we're going to type tab. So if the color is not blue, we're going to type something to the user. We're going to type a message to the user, and this time we're going to write, you are not correct. All right? Then the way we end an uh, if statement is uh, we type in if backwards, so it's fi, and that ends the if statement. So let's uh, start from the beginning. The program is going to start, right? It's going to uh, tell the user to enter 
a secret color, right? Because we use this echo command here. Then we use this read command. It's going to read whatever they type in, whatever color they type in. Then it's going to be stored in this variable, which we named color, right? Then we got down. Then we're getting down to this if statement here. So basically, if statement starts, it uh, reads the color. If color is equal to blue, so if the, the person entered blue, then it's going to jump to this then statement. Then it's going to execute this uh, this thing right here. So if the color is blue, then it's going to print out you are correct. If the color is not equal to string blue, then it's going to jump to this else statement here. Then it's going to print out you are not correct. So let's test it out. Let's hit escape. Uh, colon wq hit enter then now since it's a new file we got to give this new file permission so let's type in chmod hit space the plus symbol x i'm sorry x space our file name which is test 7.sh we're going to hit enter now our file has permission let's launch the file Let's see what happens. All right, so the program starts. Now it's enter, it's prompting us to enter a color, right? So let's enter a color. Let's enter red. We know the correct answer is blue, right? So let's enter red to see what happens. I'm going to enter red, hit enter, and it prompts us, you are not correct, because we we're, we're, the color is blue, so we're, we're not correct. Let's launch the program again. Now let's enter the correct color, which is blue. Hit enter. And now it told us we are correct. So that's pretty cool, right? All right, let's talk about the else if now. Let's jump back into the text editor. All right, we only use else if when we want to test more than one condition. So if there's more than one variation of the answer or more than one condition, we use the else if. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So I'll add an else if here. So it's E-L-I-F, right? Is a command we hit space we're going to use the open braces here hit space now we're going to test the condition so we're going to use color again hit space hit equal hit space again now we're going to type in a string i'll this time i'll type in purple All right and so now we're going to type in space again closing bracket here we're going to hit enter then we got to type in then so if the user enters purple, then it's going to do this operation here. It's going to echo with a string. You. It's going to echo with a string. You are close. All right. Now let's start from the top. The user is being prompt to enter a secret color, right? Then uh, this read command is initiated. It's prompting the user to enter the color. So the user enters a color and press enter. Whatever he entered gets stored in the variable color, right? Now we move down to this if condition here. So if uh, color, the variable color is equal to blue. So if the user typed in blue, then it's going to jump to this echo and then it's going to write you are correct, right? But now we added this else if condition here. So, so it's going to jump to this. So if the color then is equal to purple, then it's going to basically uh, type this out on the screen. It's going to print this out on the screen here. You are close. If it's neither, if neither the conditions are true, then it jumps to this else. If I'm sorry, then it jumps to this else condition. Then it types in you are wrong. So let's test it out. Let's hit escape. Colon WQ for write and quit. Hit enter dot forward slash our file name, which is test seven dot SH. So let's hit enter. So let's, we know that uh, if we enter uh, blue, that we are correct. And if we enter purple, it should print out you are close. So let's enter red, see what happens. It printed out you are wrong because it went, went straight to the else statement. It's because ne neither uh, if or else if were true. So it jumped straight to the else and then it printed out you are wrong. So let's run it again. Hit enter. Now let's try uh, this time blue, right? We know blue is correct. So if we hit enter blue and hit enter, it should type you are correct, which is true. Now let's try purple because we know purple is the else if condition, right? Now let's type in purple, hit enter, and it, it, it wrote you are close. It, it printed out you are close on the screen. So basically that's it.
Alright guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.